Welcome to our study of God's purposes for your life. I'm Rick Warren, the author of the book, The Purpose Driven Life. The Bible says you were made for a mission. This is the fifth purpose of your life. Jesus says, in the same way that you, God, gave me a mission in the world, I give them a mission in the world. And Paul understood the importance of this mission when he said, the most important thing is that I complete my mission, the work that the Lord Jesus gave me. Now, God is at work in the world, and he wants you to join him. This assignment is called your mission. God wants you to have both a ministry in the body of Christ and a mission in the world. Your ministry is your service to believers, and your mission is your service to unbelievers. So you need both to be healthy, a ministry in the church and a mission in the world. Now, fulfilling your mission in the world is God's fifth purpose for your life. And your life mission is both shared and specific. One part of it is the responsibility that you share with every other Christian. And the other part of it is an assignment that's a unique to you. Our English word mission comes from the Latin word for sending. And being a Christian includes being sent into the world as a representative of Jesus Christ. Jesus said in John 20, 21, as the Father hath sent me, I am sending you. Jesus clearly understood his life mission on earth. And at age 12, he said, I must be about my father's business. 21 years later, while dying on the cross, he said, it is finished. Think about that. Like bookends, these two statements, I must be about my father's business at age 12, and it is finished at age 33. Frame a well-lived, purpose-driven life. Jesus completed the mission that the father gave him. Now, the mission Jesus had while he was here on earth is now our mission today because today we, Christians, are the body of Christ. And what Jesus did in his physical body, we are to continue as his spiritual body, the church. So what is that mission? It's introducing people to God. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5.18, Christ changed us from enemies into his friends, and he gave us the task of making others his friends also. God wants to redeem human beings from Satan, and he wants to reconcile them to himself so we can fulfill the five purposes that he created us for, to love him, to be a part of his family, to become like him, to serve him, and to tell others about him. Once we are his, God uses us to reach to others. He saves us, and then he sends us out. The Bible says we have been sent to speak for Christ. We are the messengers of God's love and purposes to his world.